What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Blastoise team right here. Yep, you guys heard that right. It is now Season 4, which means Kanto and Alolan starters are now allowed in ranked play. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. So this team is built around Blastoise, as you guys can tell. It has Blastoise on it with that Shell Smash, Scald for Stab Damage, Ice Beam, and Aurora Spear. Once we are able to get that Shell Smash set up, he's basically just going to be able to one-tap, like, most Pokemon. He's just going to be out there dominating and taking control. We have this Tokus on the team who is going to allow us to get the Shell Smashes off a lot easier, considering we have Follow Me on it, so we'll distract Pokemon, set up, and get one from there. We also have this Raichu and Gudra on this team with the Lightning Rod and Sap Zipper as their abilities. That's kind of, that, those abilities are kind of to just protect the Blastoids, so if they're trying to dump on them with an Electric or a Grass Move, we can swap out the Blastoids or swap out the the side Pokemon, so it cannot get hit by that electric or grass move. Then we have the Grimstar to set up screens, protecting the Blastoids. That's kind of like the main part of this team, is just to protect that Shell Smash Blastoids, because he can do all the damage to take out opponents. Grimstar has both screens, Thunder Wave, and Spirit Break with that Lake Clay as its item. And then in the final spot, we have this Rotom right here, which just is a coverage Pokemon. It has Thunder Moves and Fire Moves with will o -Wisp to take out some physical attackers. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. I made this team with myself and my boy Danny helped me build this team. I made the EV spread and all that, made the team. He just built the Pokemon and sent them over to me. So thank you so much, Dan. And guys, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon are you most excited for in this new season? But without further ado, let's get rocking out on the ranked double ladder with this Blastoids team. Match number one on its way. This guy has a Drought Venusaur team right here. That's pretty hype. That is pretty hype. I'm going to be leading my Blastoids here with that toe kiss. Try to set up that Shell Smash and get rolling from there. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We're going to go Blastoids into the toe kiss. Um, I think I bring the Gudra, potentially, just to kind of counteract that Venusaur with the Sap Zipper. Hmm. And he is a Soul Fest, so he's an absolute tank. As they have uh, mostly special attackers. So, yeah, Gudra is going to be coming in that third spot. Then we need one... More Pokemon for a fourth final spot. Who do we give it to? I think the Rotom kind of takes it. That Electric does a lot of work, and then we have the Fire for the Venusaur as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go Rotom in that fourth and final spot. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. I would love to see you guys. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I am sick right now still. like it's. I think it might be getting worse. I have no idea, but that's why I did not upload yesterday. But So just bear with me. And I hope you guys do enjoy the content. It really goes a long way. It really goes a long way. Let's go. Venusaur 9 Sales does get the get the play. That's totally fine. That is uh, totally fine here. I think I'm just going to swap out the... Actually, do I even swap out the Blastoids? Do I even swap out the Blastoids? That's the real question. Because I could just drop a Hail on them or go for a Follow Me. We could be going for a Heat Wave. Let's see. What do we, what do we want to do? I say we, I say we Shell Smash here. And we go for the Follow Me. We just try to set up. If we go for a follow me, I think it could potentially go for a heat wave, but we can just kind of just like soak up the hits with our toe kiss and then eventually drop a max hailstorm on this, uh, on the Venusaur. But I think once we get the shell smash set up, we should be chilling and be able to dominate because Blastoise hits like an absolute truck. Goes for a sludge bomb, which was rather smart, which was rather smart, to be honest. And then the heat wave is going to come through. Nope, the mystical fire is actually going to pop through. That's actually fine. You can take out my toe kiss. We get the shell smash set up. You got a crit. You lucky little biscuit. You lucky little biscuit. Okay. So, shell smash pops. Let's get it. Let's go. It's time. It's time, baby. So, there goes our defense. Our defense is gone. Our defense is gone. And we'll be able to Dynamax because our attack is boosted up plus one. And we should be faster now. I don't know. Should we be faster? We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to bring out my Rotom just to kind of like pose a threat up. Hmm. Do I go with the Rotom or do I go with the Gudra? I said we go with the Gudra. As we are Soul Fester here and we have a lot of coverage. Because I could go with the Fire Blast and then into the the max geyser to change up the weather i do want to change up the weather that's a fact so i do want to dynamax here do i geyser or do i hailstorm that is the real question i think i hailstorm onto the venusaur and then i come across maybe with the dragon pulse on that uh nine tails because if we connect we should be able to punk on this venusaur maybe turn one unless he dynamaxes let's see what he does i'm hoping we outspeed as we are plus one but let's see we do we do get first Dynamax priority, so if he's Dynamax that Venusaur, then we know we're faster. 
Maybe we should have just doubled into the Venusaur. But then that there's a fat or like there's a chance that he might max guard. So that's what I'm kind of scared for. But big blast, so he's the big water boy right here. Let's get it. He shell smashed as well, dude. We're gonna be able to do some work. Let's go. Max Hellstorm pops here. Is this gonna KO? This might KO. This might KO, even though it's not stab, it's still big damage. Look at that! Look at that! Big blast dudes dumps on that Venusaur, and we're gonna get rid of the drought. We are gonna get rid of that drought. Like I said, you just set up that shell smash, and it's game over. It is game over. Hopefully we can just take this match one now. We just get running with it. Mystical Fire is gonna pop here. He's gonna drop our special attack. That's totally fine. It is, it is normal now. It's just back to normal. And we still have that speed advantage, which is kind of big as well. But we'll go for a Dragon Pulse. I can set up the Geyser next turn. Then we'll do some work. Buffets are gonna pop. But I had to drop the Hailstorm and take out the Venusaur. Venusaur is just too much too much of a threat there. I think he thought he was gonna outspeed us, but that plus one will outspeed that Venusaur in the sun with that chlorophyll, which is huge, which is huge. Who's he gonna go into from here? The women's cut to probably try to set up another sunny day. I think I'm just going to uh, go into the geyser here and then roll into the, the sludge bomb over on it. Or are you gonna set up a tailwind? What are you going to do? That is my question. What are you going to do? I wonder if this is going to take him out. If he goes sunny day turn one with the prankster, Let's see. Yeah, he goes Sunny Day. I wonder if this uh, geyser is going to take out this Nine Tails. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We're going to switch the weather back to rain. But I'm hoping this takes him out. I don't think it will in the drought. I'm not too sure. As we are normal attacking now, but it's Life Orb. And it's Stab. Let's see. It does, dude. Blastoids is an absolute beast. Let's get it, dude. I love this team. I love this team. I'm actually very glad how I built this team. And this Blastoids is an absolute beast with this Life Orb. And that Torrent... So once our health gets slower, we'll be able to do bigger damage. Sludge Bomb's gonna pop here. No more Sunny Day either, and we were able to take out a Pokemon. Bring this thing down to the Sash. Let's go. Critical hit. We, even if we didn't crit, we're still taking it down to the Sash. Let's go. And I think Charizard's gonna roll out here, and we'll be able to dump on it. We'll be able to dump on it, Charizard. Is it Charizard? Yeah, it's Charizard. We're just gonna throw a nice Max Geyser at it. But he's probably gonna guard up. He's probably gonna guard. And I'm just gonna take out the Whimscott here. Go, Geyser. And if he sets up the sunny day, we're just going to take away. Because we're going to be faster. We're going we're gonna to take away the sunny day. And he can't change it unless he's, uh... He's not even going to Dynamax. He's just trying to set up everything. He's not even going to Dynamax. Did he already Dynamax? Or No, he never Dynamax, I don't think. Yeah, we just dumped on him turn one. Let's go, dude. Blastoids is OP, baby. Comes into season four, just dominate. Takes out Venusaur and a Charizard in one tap. He's one tapping everything left and right. That is going to be game. Dude, what a first match. We absolutely dominated. Like I said, just set up the shell smash and get rolling. This is dope. This is dope that I got to show this all for my first video. Let's go. Sludge Bomb comes through. Bink. See you later. Match one in the bag. 1-0 with this team for this video so far. Now let's hop into match number two and try to go 2-0 with this Blastoids team. Battle number two on its way. Guys, we absolutely dominated that last battle. Set up the Shell Smash and just ran that match. I'm kind of mad at this guy right here. He's not using any of the new Pokemon. Like, it's season four. Get with it. Stop using these old teams. So he has a Whimsicott Draco Fish, which is kind of scary. It's kind of scary. He doesn't have any electric Pokemon, so Raichu kind of sits out here. Well, actually, no. He has some more Pekka. He has some more Pekka, so let's bring in that Raichu with that Lightning Rod. That could be big. That could be big. So let's, uh, let's try to roll here. Do I go Tokus? Yeah, let's go Tokus into Blastoids, into Raichu and Grimstar? And Grimmigrim? Grimmigrim could be good. But it paralyzes and all that. Hmm. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think that's going to be the play. I think that is the play call here. I think we're going to roll out here, try to set up the Shell Smash once again and get rolling from there. Let's go. Let's get it. I'm hype. I'm hype. But I think he might go uh, Whimsicott or Raviari for sure. He has two Tailwind Pokemon. And then maybe more Pekko? That's the thing, if he leaves more Pekko, then I just swap into my Raichu, and then I get the Lightning Rod. I get the free Lightning Rod and the special attack boost, and then I could potentially just run with my Raichu instead of uh, going with my Blastoids. So it really depends, it really depends. I kind of want to uh, try to set up a Shell Smash, but if he has some more Pekko, there's really no point. There's really no point. Okay. Whom are you leading? He's definitely a Tailwind guy. Maybe I should just let the Grimstar off. Uh, do T waves and minus your speed and set up screens, but I like I like the Tokus and Blast Wings lead. It's just such a good lead with the following lead. Whimsicott Conqueror does get the lead. Um, 
Do I shell smash? I feel like I do. I think that is just such a good, uh... I think we're chilling with this one. Or we can just go for a follow me. I think it might be... You have an ice punch? It might have electric. If it has electric, then I can swap next turn. But yeah, let's just go follow me here. Into shell smash. Let's try to run it. Let's try to run it early. Then we can get the ring going. Let's get it, dude. Look at my boy with the cannons out the side, dude. Looking dope. Looking dope, dude. Blastoise is definitely one of the cooler Kanto starters. I don't know, dude. All the Kanto starters are cool. You cannot disown one of them. They're all awesome. You got a giant plant Venusaur. You have a big turtle and a big dragon looking on. Oh, he's D-Max in turn one. He's D-Max in turn one. He's going to go into the... Conqueror's going to get the D-Max. I think he's going to try to drop Hail. He's got to try to drop Hail or a Max Light. He's got to have either or. That's the thing. He has to have either or. He has to have Thunder Punch or Ice Punch. Probably Thunder Punch, I'm going to guess. He's trying to come in for my Blastoise. But once we get this Shell Smash up, we should be chilling. I should be able to punk on that thing. And then go into my Grimstar. I have the Grimstar on the back end. Tailwind's going to pop here. It's got to be Lightning. It's got to be Lightning if you're Dynamaxing this early. Let's see what happens, dude. Shell Smash, baby. Yeah, let's go. Break through that shell. I love that animation. He just comes through the shell. He's like a little clam. He's a little clam boy. Boosting our stats. Let's get it. Attack. Special attack. Speed. And he's going to go into the lighting. Yeah, I knew it. My Tokus might be able to eat this up. Yes, let's go, Tokus. We eat that one up. We get another turn off here. Um, how should I roll out here? How should I roll here? He has a Tailwind. I I think I'm just going to throw a nice little Max Geyser over on that thing. The burn comes out. The flame one. Okay. It's a little tough. Let's go. Another follow me for sure. Oh, show. And then we're just going to set the rain. Max Geyser coming across on this Conqueror. This is going to be big damage. Hopefully we can just one tap it. Or he might be going for a... Uh, he might be going for it. The Max Guard and then take out my Togekiss with his Whimsicott. Which that'll be fine because then I can just go Grimstarl. Because then I can just go Grimstarl, set up screens, be able to eat up a shot and take out the Conqueror regardless. But the Shell Smash is just so strong. It is so strong. That's why I want to build a team around it. Because I believe he didn't learn Shell Smash in the... Uh, earlier games, I think this was just nope, but everyone was hyped about it, like, oh, dude, Blastoise gets Shell Smash, he's gonna be huge, like, yeah, it's pretty dope, so I'm a big fan of this team I made. Okay, so he doesn't go for the guard, so we could potentially pick up a KO here, let's see what happens here, Energy Ball's gonna pop, we should be able to outspeed the Conqueror, I'm thinking, oh my god, we eat that up, he went for the Energy Ball instead of the Moon Blast, let's go, yeah, we do outspeed the Conqueror, which is dope, see, that's the great part about Blastoise, is he outspeeds a ton of Pokemon, with his Shell Smash, even in Tailwind. But okay, so the, the what's it called? The rain gets going, the Conqueror survives, but the burn's gonna start taking away damage here. Max Lightning's gonna come through, take out my Togekiss, that's totally fine. I know we outspeed him, and I know the Wormscott is not taking me out. So he might go for the, he might go for the, what's it called? The burn's gonna do some damage here. He might go for the Max Guard, do I read it? Do I go into the Raichu? Oh my God, I could just swap it to the Raichu. <laughs> Um, I think I'm gonna go Grimstarl. I'm gonna set up the Reflect. Do I set up the Reflect? Ooh. I have to set up one of them. What do I think he's doing? Do I put the pressure on the Conqueror? As much as I want to. I'm gonna set up this Reflect. I think I'm gonna go after this Whimsicott. I guess it's not very effective, but I still, I kind of want the rain. I'm gonna say it goes for the Max Guard. I'm gonna say this thing goes for the Max Guard. Let's go! Let's get it, dude! That read! Let's go! Big reads from Jeans. We get the Reflect set up, and we'll get a Max Geyser over on the Swim Scott. I know it's not very effective, but I really didn't want to change up the hail. And I know this thing is, uh, what's it called? I know for sure that this Swim Scott has to be Focus Sash. And this should still do big damage. Plus one on Special Attack Board. Life Orb Stab in the rain. Look at that. Look at that. Big damage. Brings it down to a Sash anyway. What a play call by me. I can set up the Light Screen this turn now, and be able to eat up another shot. And the Conqueror can go down to a, uh... And I can take out the Conqueror right now. So we're chilling here. We are chilling. We're doing just dandy. We're doing just dandy. Light screen. Um... Well, Conqueror... You think Conqueror's gonna go down to the burn? Or, or... How do I play it? No, I gotta get the light screen up. I could swap now. Or I could guard. Like, I know we outspeed. I know we outspeed the Conqueror. He's not gonna go for protect. He's probably gonna go for like a mock punch or something. Dude. What do I do here? That's a real question. What do I do here? I kind of want to swap it to my uh, 
I ride you, but then I don't at the same time. Let's say we just get the double kill here. Because the Wimscott is definitely gonna go. The Wimscott is definitely gonna go. He might actually take me out. I thought we set up light screen. Yeah, we did set up light screen. Alright, so we hopefully we can eat up this energy ball. I'm thinking we can. We can potentially get the double kill. Yeah, we do eat up the energy ball. That is huge. That is huge. So my actually will my blast switch go down to the buffet? Yeah, my blast switch is gonna go down to the buffet and the uh, Yeah, he's gonna go down to the buffet and the life orb damage. That's tough. But we'll pick up the double kill here with the buffet on the Whimsicott. That's tough, that's tough. Dang, dang, I really wanted him to survive one more turn. He could have gotten another kill with him because he's so strong. But now we go into our final spot. We have this Raichu, which isn't bad. Maybe we should have swapped in the Raichu and used the Lightning Rod a little bit more. But we have screen set up. We can start paralyzing Pokemon. He doesn't have a Dynamax. We kind of just trashed on him with our Dynamax mod. It comes out here. No more Tailwind for him as well. Raichu comes on out here. We have Nuzzle. We have we can paralyze right off the bat here. He sends out Braviary. That is huge. That is huge. He's probably going to try to set up another Tailwind. I'm just going to Thunderbolt that. Take that out. And I'm going to T-Wave the other Pokemon that he throws out. It's a Draco Fish. I have to T-Wave that right now. Like, I have to T-Wave that. Get it out of the way. That's a fact. I don't really want to mess with that. We have Spirit Break as well, which is huge. And we have both screens already set up. Oh, we could go for a Fake Out. We could go for a Fake Out here. Uh, I say I just go... Do I go for the Fake Out? Who would I Fake Out? I don't even think I Fake Out anybody. I say I just go for the T-Bolt. Yeah, I just say I go for T-Bolt, because I am Sash, but that's not really going to do anything. Oh, we're Lightning Rod. I can't even go for that. The Paralyzes. Oh, my God. But we boost our special attack. It's pretty nice. We boost our own special attack. I totally forgot about that. And we outspeed everything. This should be able to take out the Braviary, unless he's Sashed. He's not Sash. See you later. Yeah, we boost our own attack. We get a crit, but it doesn't even matter. I was taking him out regardless. I totally forgot that it, that it eats up the T-Wave. Okay, so we should be able to eat this up anyway. Yeah, we eat that up because we went first. So it's not doubled. So I know we outspeed, which is dope. We can go for a uh, T-Bolt with plus one on the special attack board. And a uh, Spirit Break. We should be able to pick up this win. Let's go, dude. 2-0 with this team. That Blast Dude's actually did some work. Did some work there. Spirit Break coming at you, boy. What you want? What you want? And then a nice little Thunderbolt. Because I know we outspeed. Dude, Raichu is actually fast as buns. Get him! T-Bolt comes through. Big damage. Who's he taking out? Doesn't even matter who he takes out. He's going to take out my Raichu. Dang, that's totally fine. Spear Break should be able to clean this up and get us that win. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me, baby. Show it. Let's go to this team, baby. This team. 2-0 with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle now and try to go 3-0 with this Blastoid squad. Third and final battle on its way. This guy is a Decidueye team. That's pretty hype. I'm a fan of Decidueye. That's so cool. But if you are hanging out with me in this third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Blastoise Squad in the comment section down below. I would love to know who hangs around and sticks around and watches the full video. But let's go. 2-0 so far. Looking to go perfect with this team. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of the way I made it with the Shell Smash, the Follow Me sets up well, and the Lightning Rod and the Sap Sipper. I think Gudra is going to get the call here as he does have the Decidueye. He has a Mudsdale as well, which is kind of scary, but I think my Blastoids can do work on it. There's an Arcanine. Blastoids totally coming in here. Blastoids, you're coming in. Um, do I lead Blastoids? That's the real question. Uh, bu -bu -bu I say I lead the Blastoids once again, and I just bring the Togekiss and Gudra. Because if he leads to this situation, I can always just swap the Blastoids right then and there. And get the Sap Zipper. Then who goes final spot? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Could be going for Snarl. That that could be the that could be the uh, bad thing. Um, let's go Rotom here. I have one second. I have one second left, so I just threw the Rotom in that last second, as it does work against the Tokus and that is Sijuai. So let's get going here. Let's get going. That's kind of scary that he has the Arcanine. I was just thinking about it. Like I forgot that Blastoise is special attacking, so we can just Snarl up and do some work from there. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm surprised he's not using a uh, Incineroar. You go Arcanine. He goes Grimstar with Decidueye. That's totally fine by me. Um, do I set up the shell? Do I set up the shell? I'm thinking of it. Hmm. I'm setting up the shell smash. For, for sure, dude. For sure. And I'm going to drop a follow me. I'm getting rolling here. I'm going to get rolling. He can do whatever he wants with this Decidueye. Decidueye is dope, though. 
Definitely a cool Pokemon. Shell Smash is just too good, dude. It is OP for sure. Like, everyone knows that. Like, when Cloyster uses it, same thing with Pulte guys, use Shell Smash. Oh my lord. It's GG. I think uh, Shell Smash is for Pulte guys and Cloisters are using singles a lot more. But I'm glad we got doubles going here. Who's he Dynamax? It's gotta be the, the Decidueye. So Decidueye is probably getting the D-Max here. No way. Unless it's G-Max Rimsaw. That would be cool. Nope. Decidueye gets it. Oh, dude, this is dope that we're seeing all these new mons. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I think Season 4 is going to be probably the best one yet. Well, here he goes. Dynamax is into the Decidueye. We're going to go for the follow me. And I wonder what that Grimstar is doing. Probably setting up a late screen, maybe? Let's see what happens here. Grimstar is going to set up. Oh, he's going to fake tears. That's a little scary. Drop our uh, special defense, which is uh, not bad. Not bad. Shell Smash pops here. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I think we can one tap this, this decision by next turn. Let's see what happens. Pack raises sharply. We have the speed boost as well, so we're gonna outspeed us a Pokemon. Airstream's gonna fly through. Um, he's gonna get the speed boost as well, but I wonder who's gonna be faster. I wonder who's gonna be faster. I'm gonna use another follow me and be able to dump on this decision by here. What you want, fool? What you want, my dude? It's too good. It is just too good. They don't want the sauce. Max Hailstorm coming through. I think it's gonna KO. I told you, dude, he's an absolute unit. Blastoise is a beast. So we're gonna get this hailstorm going, and then we're gonna try to set the rain to get going from there. I think one thing I would have changed is put uh, rain dish instead of turret on this. I thought turret would work better, but he's kind of a lightweight after he gets a uh, uses shell smash as his defense low, so it's kind of tough to get his uh, health low. But I think rain dish would have been the better call. But still, I think turret will work good in certain situations. Both very good abilities. Let's go. Big Blastoids. Big Turtle Boy. He's dope. I wish they did bring back Mega Evolutions because his Mega Evolution is so cool. With the big cannon coming out his back end. Woo-wee. Follow me, Pops here. He's going to go for a Light Screen. I wonder if we're going to KO here. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to KO here. But he's definitely going to KO my... Uh... We do outspeed. We do outspeed, which is awesome. Can we KO this? I don't know. Oh my lord, Blastoids doing some work. That did some mean damage. I thought it was going to KO. I thought it was going to KO. He's going to... Do we outspeed this thing as he's plus two on the speed board? But, oh, his weakness policy pops. He's weakness policy. I have to paralyze it next turn so we can outspeed it. Because the buffets are going to come through. So, hope, do we think the buffet's going to take him out here? I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to take out the Decidueye. I mean, I hope it does, but I don't think it is. I could paralyze it next turn just to make sure it doesn't outspeed me. As it is pretty fast. With plus two. Let's see what happens here. Buffet doesn't take it. It does take him out. Let's go. Basically, Blastoise one taps at Decidueye. Oh, my lord. Tim, now I can send out the Grimmsnarl. I can set up my own screens to protect my Blastoise a little bit more. And try to just dominate. Like, dude, I built this team so good. I hope you guys do try out my rental code and let me know how you do with it. I oh, know we don't have Grimstarl. Why do I think we have Grimstarl? I don't know, but it's fine. We don't need Grimstarl. Uh, we're just going to go into our... Let's just go Gudra here. It has so much coverage. I'm not worried about their Grimstarl because it already set up the light screen. No, so I'm just going to set the rain. And now he does not have a Dynamax either. Ooh, let's go, dude. Gene's coming up big for first battles for season four. Why is it called series three, but season four? I'm confused on that. that that's been confusing me lately. But he goes Togekiss. Um, I think I just dump on the Grimstarl here. And I go for a Sludge Bomb on the Togekiss. Let's see. Let's set the rain over here. And then we just go for a nice little Sledge Bam. A little bit of Sledge Bam. <laughs> a little bit of Sludge Bam. Sledge Bomb action coming through. Into the Max Geyser. I wonder what his Grimstar is. His Grimstar is probably going to paralyze one of my mods. With the T-Wave. With the T-Wave. But it's always nice to have this uh, Gudra and uh, the... What's it called? The Raichu on the team. Because your the main part of this team is protecting that Blast Switch. Because you guys are... As you guys can see, is the Blast Switch, once it sets up, it's going to be able to dominate and kind of run the match. So if you can protect them as much as you can with the Lightning Rod, Sap Set Bridges, the Screens, the Follow Me's, that's what's going to make you win the games. So the follow me just come out here. All right, Blastoise might just be able to tap this thing up. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Look at this. Max guys are coming through stab. We're going to get the rain going as well. Do we take out one shot? No, we do not. We do not. But still, that's pretty big damage on a Togekiss. Togekiss is a rather bulky Pokemon. And now the rain gets going. 
And the sludge bomb should be able to take him out over here as a super effective. Actually, never mind. The battery comes through. Probably not going to take him out now. Maybe? I hope so. I don't think it is. as Because it, it's not sad. Tear Break comes through. Ooh, that was actually smart by him. He's going to drop her special attack. But if we do take out, I know we can take out the Grimstarl in one shot with this uh, rain. No, we're not even close. Um, we're going to be able to take out whatever Pokemon this lands on. I'm still going to throw a Sludge Bomb over on the Togekiss as well. Because whoever we hit with this Geyser is dead. That's a fact. Yeah, follow me. He's coming here. We'll be able to take out this Togekiss. Togekiss is gone. Not surviving this one in the rain, even though we are now... We're neutral. We're, we are neutral on the special attack because we are plus one. Now we are neutral. And Max Guys in the rain is too big damage. It's, it's huge damage with the life orb. Let's go. See you later, Togekiss. Now let's down the Grimstar. Grimstar is not that, like, good of a Pokemon. Like, it's a, it's decent. Like, you guys know what I'm saying, but, like, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. But there we go. Gonna do a little bit of damage. Should we get the poison? That would be type nice. You see weakness policy? No, it's leftovers. I was like, what is this? I was like, that thing's weakness policy? I was like, what you mean? I saw that once before. Uh, we just possibly Grimstar. It kind of threw me off. Must still comes through. I mean, I have Will O' Wisp. I do have Will O' Wisp. Which is nice. Um, I think it's just going to Spirit Break me again. Just go Scald here. And then I could go Sludge Bomb or Power Whip. I said we just go Power Whip. I said we double into this Blood Sale. Because I do have my Rotom in the back with the Citrus Berry. And I feel like we can just Will O' Wisp that Blood Sale up when we can. When we get out there, so we can drop his physical attack and then kind of win this match. This match is looking good for us. I think we played this one very well. So it all comes through. How much damage are we going to do? Even though we're minus one on special attack. Blastoise, stop it! Blastoise, knock it off, dude. He's so good. That is minus one on special attack board. That is huge damage. Spirit Break's going to come through and take out my Blastoise. Oh, no, he's going to go after my Gudra. Okay, Gudra eats that up. So you're going to give me another turn. You're going to give me another turn. I think we should take out the Mudsdale here. We should be able to take out the Mudsdale here. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Yes, sir. Let's go. Mudsdale gone. Goes down to a little bit of a 3v1. But we're both in the red here. Well, not in the red. I don't think we're in the red. I think we're in the yellow for my Guja. I already forget. I already forget what it is. <laughs> but we can throw a Skull on this. Yeah, we're in the yellow. And then we can just throw a nice little Sludge Bomb. Skull in the rain. And then Sludge Bomb's going to come across here. And finish off this match. She's probably going to cancel it. And we're going to go 3-0 with this team. This is not canceled. But Skull comes through. Oh my god, he's so strong. That was a crit. That was a crit. Dude, Blastoise is an absolute beast. 3-0 with this team. Those were some easy wins. He is ridiculously strong. I'm telling you guys, definitely try out this Rental Code and let me know how you guys do with it. Blastoise is unreal. That was absolutely crazy. You guys saw all three of those matches. Us just setting up that Shell Smash and dominating. I'm a big fan of this team, and I'm a big fan of how I made it. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend it. Let me know how you guys do with it, and if you have any questions about the team, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.